This is Chris with Maynard DIY, and today we're going to be talking about the Crown Royal 7300E wood boiler, outdoor wood boiler, and more importantly, the Aquastad on it. Uh, these are some pretty basic units that are going to get on here. There's not really a lot to them. Uh, look at user's manual, and you can see the adjustments you can make. Today, specifically, we're talking about uh, how to make the adjustment on the differential. Uh, so that way when it is warmer out and there's less demand, you can close that differential up just a little bit so it doesn't go so long between cycles. So let's get right into it. So a little bit about these Aquastats first. So really basic function here. The number on the left tells you what the water temperature is in the water jacket right now. The number on the right is the number that tells you when the fan is going to shut down. So this one here right now is set uh, it shuts down at 180 and then it has a 10 degree differential. So that means it's going to kick back on at 170 when that water temperature cools back down. A uh, very easy adjustment on here. We have a plus or minus. So you can adjust this on the fly anytime. And so if we go up or down, that is going to make it a, an adjustment there. There's no special buttons that you have to hit to get into that. Now, if you want to adjust your differential, the menu button, they have this set up so that way you're not just able to tap on the menu button and change something. So if you want to change that, then you have to hold the menu button down for five seconds. So let's do that now. All right, so now we're into the menu here. Uh, I don't have the book in front of me to know what all these codes stand for. Uh, I'll put a little clip here of the of the, the list of all the different codes and what they mean. Uh, but I do know that the second option is what we're looking for for the differential. So if we just tap on menu one more time, DFF stands for differential. So right now I have that as a 10 degree differential. So that means that the boiler will kick off at 180, but it'll kick back in at 170. Uh, we just had an issue yesterday where it was pretty warm, unseasonably warm for central Maine. We had about 50 degree weather and so that day the boiler went a long time between cycles. And so that means that it went a little too long and the fire went out. So when the fan kicked on, there apparently wasn't enough coals to, to get her going again. So what I'm going to do in the future when we do have some warmer days, all I have to do once we're in this menu here, I can just hit the, the negative and that's gonna drop that. So you can set this, I think, all the way from, from one degree differential all the way up to 30 degrees, uh, which would be far too much of a, a swing for us here anyways. Um, but yeah, for those warmer days, uh, I would recommend just bumping this a little bit closer together if you are having issues with that not lighting your, your fire up again if it's too far between uh, demands there. So we can just hit that. Now, a critical part here is when you're done making your adjustments, you do have to cycle all the way through all these menus. When we get to this, back to this main home screen here, now that means our settings have saved. If we don't do that, the, menu, the manual says, if you let this time out for 10 minutes, it'll go back to whatever settings you had before you made that adjustment. So you do have to toggle through the menu all the way till you get back to your main screen that tells you what your, your temperature is now and what your high limit is set at currently. Another nice thing about these is it has a little green light there that at nighttime particularly, it's actually fairly bright. I can see it from the kitchen window uh, if I look out and that green light means that it's calling for heat or that the, the fan and, and the, uh, the damper has opened up and so it's calling for heat then. So that's a good thing to know as well. Another thing to know with these units here, um, the, they have a high water temperature um, sensor in them that basically when it gets to a certain degree, which with this particular boiler, when the water temperature hits 190 degrees, uh, that's going to kick it into a safety mode and actually uh, even if this Aquastat says that it needs to call because it's under that differential setting, uh, that means until the water temperature goes down to 145 degrees, that's not going to let the fan and the damper door open back up until that cools back down again. I have had a couple issues, I spoke about it in previous videos, where in one case the, the bottom clean out door, uh, I didn't have that adju door adjusted just right, so the seal wasn't sealing perfectly, so after the fan and the damper shut down, it was still getting some air in there uh, and feeding that fire, thus making it go up to that 190 degree thing, uh, which is a bit frustrating when it does happen. Um, 
So that's just a little bit about the Aquastat on the uh, Crown Royal 7300E uh, outdoor wood boiler. Uh, all the outdoor wood boilers are, are gonna have some sort of an Aquastat for this uh, adjustment, whether it's just a one that has a damper door on it or whether it has a fan on it. Uh, they all have some sort of an Aquastat to control when all that stuff kicks on and off. So it's gonna be pretty similar across the board for all of them, just a little bit of different setting adjustments. Check your user's manual uh, and it'll tell you what you need to do to do that. So until next time, if you like this video, hit that like button, uh, subscribe for more videos and um, share it with your friends and anybody that's got a wood boiler that you know of or somebody that's looking into a wood boiler. Uh, again, this is all kind of information that we wish we would have known some of this stuff before we bought it, uh, but now you know, we're getting the experience out of it and we wanna share it with you. So that way, maybe it'll help you a little bit and keep your fire going uh, in those warmer climates. So anyways, we'll see you on the next one.